Hey guys, back to record another empties video. I was going to wait till the 1st of March. So it'd be like a two month type empties. But this bag is getting extremely full. So I wanted to go ahead and film it so that I could start fresh. I'm just gonna pull it randomly. Too. And that was my phone if you hear that. And also, if you hear a crackle, there's a candle burning. As it crackles. Anyway, first thing is the Pantene Ultimate 10 shampoo. You guys might remember me mentioning this in. I want to say my yearly favorites, December favorites, yearly favorites, something like that. Anyway, I do like this shampoo for strengthening my hair. Right now I'm currently using the anti-breakage of the Pantene because I guess when I was in the hospital last year and I got pumped full of that steroid, it's causing my hair to fall out now. So I'm using anti-breakage and I'm taking biotin, which I think I have a thing in there. So hopefully that'll help with that problem. Next I have some of these Baby Basics baby wipes. I would use these to wipe up my hands if they got dirty or even to just like take a layer of oil off my face if I wanted to mask but I didn't have my cleanser type thing. So yeah, I do like these. I would get them again right now. I've been really diligent about using a cleanser and not something like this. So, But I would repurchase those. They were decent. Next is this Hello Beautiful Shower Gel from what? Or from, Wash, from Bath and Body Works. This was a shower gel that my fiance had got me. Oh gosh, my phone buzzing again. And overall, I do really like the scent of this. It's a very fresh, floral, it's got a fruit note in it. Nectarine is smelling okay. So yeah, I definitely would repurchase shower gel. Just lasts me forever though. He got this for me, I believe. He got it for me for my birthday last year when he was down, and I just finished it up like a week ago. So it takes me forever to go through one because I don't eat a whole lot at one time. Two of these in here. This one, yeah. I have two of these. Where's the brand? I don't know how to say it. It's E P I E L L E. So F E L F I L. And if you watched the video I did with my friend Robin for her channel, we did a Big Lots haul, and I got a box with this type, and then a box with the vitamin C ones that she gave me. I've used two of this one, because my face stays forever freaking dry. I do like these overall for sheet masks. My only complaint is it's too wide through here on my face. It's made for someone with a more narrow face and given that these are made in Korea that's probably why. I'm not saying that to be racist, I just I know how Korean masks are over here. It doesn't fit us as well. So for that reason I probably 
wouldn't repurchase, but I did like this solution and they were very hydrating. So if you have a face shape that would suit these, I would go for it. If you're unsure about it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Speaking of the vitamin C ones, I also have one of those in here. This one's meant for lifting and forming. And it's hard to tell with something like this if anything lifted on your face. So, it did feel like cooling and nice, and I noticed right here it looked a little bit better the other day, but that's about it with this one. The moisture one I can kind of feel right away. I also have this sample of the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Gel Cream. There's a $2 coupon. I would recommend this strictly for oily skin. I say this because I have normal skin, or normal to dry in the winter, but now it's like normal slash normal to oily depending on the temperature. This balled up on my face. It never sunk in, it left a layer. When I would rub my cheeks it would ball up. So, I would not get this. I know the coupon also is for different skin active moisturizers, so I may try something different, but this particular line, and this is what it looks like in the store, by the way. This particular line, I just, for me personally, I wouldn't get it. Next thing is this Rosa Noir Hand and Body Milk by the brand Moore. It looks like a French brand, but I could be wrong. I also apologize again for the crackling. I can hear it getting louder. Anyway, I got this through Ipsy with my points. And I do like this. It was hydrating. It did its job as a lotion. The only issue I had with it was if I wanted to put it like on my arms and legs or something, that the smell of this would get super strong. So I really would only use this as like a hand cream. Closer to the end, I did use it for my knees down, but yeah, I would not get the full size of this since I would only be concentrating it on an area and I like the lotion that can kind of do everything. Let's see, next is this lavender macaron macaron candle from Bath and Body Works. I'm obsessed with this scent. I freaking love it. I wish they made it permanent. And I really did like this, but it didn't really burn the best, as you can see from the sides, but it was a simple one wick, one that I'm burning out in two wick, but yeah, I do like this scent, and if they ever brought it back, either for like repromotion or semi-annual sale, I definitely would grab it, either in a candle, wallflower, because the wallflower was really good too. Next are the Bic Silky Touch Razors. This was a 10 pack. Kind of unfolds like this and then it's on the shelf like that. I still have two of these left so they're not completely used up. These only have two blades. And surprisingly, I like these a lot better than ones that have three to four blades. I don't know if it's just my hair texture or my hair type. It makes the two blades work so much easier. But I've tried like three blade and four blade ones and they don't work nearly as well as these did for me. So I would repurchase these. And because they're in that type of packaging, they're actually pretty cheap for what they are. Speaking of the Biotin, a while ago, I have the Biotin 5000 MCG. So it supports 
the hair, skin, and nails. And you're supposed to take one of these a day. Now, my mom, who's a nurse, said that you could take these twice a day if you needed to. Since there's a 5,000 ones, you could do that. Because I think the max is 10,000 MCG. That's what she said. So, I would take this two a day sometimes. Especially if I had just gotten out of the shower and I noticed that my hair still had a lot of breakage. I would take these. I'm still con continuously taking them now. But I'll have to get back to you guys on whether this helps in addition to the shampoo. I just it still boggles my mind how my hair is falling out. I'm just gonna look at Next is the calcium, 600 milligram and vitamin D3. Excuse me. And these were from Kroger. I'm currently using another one of these because it was about to get one free. So, for those that don't know, I have the Mexplanon implant in my arm up here. And it can cause osteoporosis and bone density loss later down the line, so I take this as more of a preventative for that. So that is why I'm on calcium and vitamin D. Next is the Britney Spears Fantasy little sprayer that was in my purse. I really did like this scent. I had the full size over there. So I brought it with me, so I had a perfume here. It's a very sweet, sugary scent. I happen to like that. I know a lot of people wouldn't. It reminds me a little bit of the, I think it's Aqualina Pink Sugar. Pink Sugar is a little bit more rich than this, but it has that same thick undertone. But yeah, I definitely would repurchase this scent later down the line. Oh. <laughs> Couple more masks. If there's another one in here, yes there is. Okay. First one is this moisturizing mask from Target. And it's Pretty Animals by Look Beauty. It looks like this. So it would make you look like a tiger in the face. And this one fit my face pretty well for what it was. I think out of all of them, this was the one that fit my face the best. And it definitely looks funny, like you look like a tiger, so you, it's kind of unexpected at first. But I think these were only like $1.99 at Target. That was in Atlanta. At a doctor's appointment, and on the way out, I was able to go in and just look. By the way, the ones that were in the white that I showed you guys, it says to leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. This one was 10 to 20, to give you an idea. And I definitely would get get this again. Uh, it drips and gets everywhere. But this is one I would repurchase. Get the top of that one so that it doesn't get everywhere. And the last two masks were from my Ipsy in January. And they're both Sally's box masks, the love recipe line. This one is the aloe, which is moisturizing and smoothing, and this one is the acai berry for radiance and firming. Again, it's hard to tell if a mask is going to firm your skin immediately after use, so I can't speak for this one in terms of that aspect, but both of these were super nice and refreshing on the face. 
fit in my face pretty well. Probably not as well as that tiger one. But they did fit well. Thought I heard the phone ring. And these are 10 to 20 minutes also. And it left my face feeling hydrated. It didn't feel sticky. These were really nice. And if I could find this brand here, I would definitely pick some up because they're pretty good for what they are. Next, and this is something that I don't normally share, but I'm sharing this specifically because while it worked and did its job, I did not like it. And it's the Crest Pro Health Advanced mouthwash. Now, like I said, it did do its job. I have a pretty sensitive tongue to sweets, sour, and salty. And I'm not trying to gross y'all out, but I'm just going to show you how bad it gets with salty stuff in particular. That hole right there. So I thought, try a mouthwash that's alcohol free that can help get rid of that. Well, it did do its job in helping prevent, or helping it heal better, the taste of this was absolutely disgusting. I mean, you're bound to taste a little bit of it because it goes directly on your tongue, especially for me when I'm trying to help heal this area. But, I would just start gagging every time I had this, so I'm just glad I finished it. Next is some iron. I take this for my helping with my red blood cell help, I think is what they say on here. I know some do, but that's what I use it for because I started taking it when I was young because I had really bad anemia and now it's just part of my routine to help maintain it. Next is some more calcium. I didn't even realize this is the Caltrate one. And it says to do one. I took two of these every day, so it only lasted me a month. But this one was pretty good too. Like I said, I'm currently using the Kroger one right now, but I would get this one if it was on sale. Really, I'm not super fussy when it comes to the vitamins and stuff like that. Oh yeah, this is a sample of the Pantene Pro V Daily Moisture Renewal Shampoo. This is one of my magazines. I did like it. I felt like it did leave my hair hydrated. It didn't strip it. But because I wasn't using the Ultimate Tin or the Anti-Breakage, I lost a lot of my hair with this one. So, and I don't know if that's me personally or if it was that shampoo, so I'm kind of iffy on whether I would purchase that or not. Maybe once my hair stops falling out, I'll try it out, but for right now, no. Next is this Clean and Clear Daily Pore Cleanser. I had used this for a good minute. I'm currently using the CVS knockoff. It here, everywhere. And I really do like this one. I remember when getting a facial that the lady told me to use a gentle exfoliator, which is what this is. And it's funny because she said, she said that and I remember telling her when we were doing the facial that the simple brand one broke me out because of the rice factor and I was telling her this and I guess she used a gentle cleanser that had rice in it because I had really bad breakout from having done that facial so that kind of stinks but what are you going to do? So yeah, 
I would get this again. I also like the CVS one that I'm currently using, so it kind of depends on which one has the better deal. Sorry, you're bugging me. Next is a thing of fish oil. I take this for my cholesterol and things like that. So, it says it may reduce risk of coronary heart disease. And I took two of these a day. I'm currently still using this brand, but it's the minis. Because these were kind of horse pills. Just trying to get the stuff that's on the bottom because there's a ton of stuff on the bottom. That way I can just put this bag down here. Okay. Like that. I have two lotions finished off. I have Beautiful Day, which it looks like this because you know you guys know I cut these to get everything out because these things are not cheap. And then French Lavender and Honey. So both of these are finished off. I'm currently on a cashmere glow, which I wish Bath and Body Works would quit taking that away. Because that is one of my favorite ones because I had a good bit of it at the semi annual sale because they have brought it back briefly like before saying it's back and then semi annual sale they say that you're getting rid of it again. I'm just like, seriously? <laughs> This is so annoying. Anyway, I do like both of these and I would repurchase it, but probably the French lavender over the beautiful day. Okay, next, if you guys remember, I don't know if it was December or January, in my Ipsy, I had used points to get a little skincare set from B Bella. I have the eye cream, the facial essence, which almost felt like a gel moisturizer, a hydrating night cream, and the cleanser. The cleanser only lasted me once. I'm just saying that now. The cleanser only lasted me once. And it was okay. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. It was kind of in the middle. And the night cream, again, only lasted me one time because I did it down my neck and everything. So, but it did leave my face hydrated. So, I would consider this. The only problem is, I think the night cream was like 60, 70 bucks, something like that. The facial essence. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite. It's not something that I would go like run out and purchase or nothing, but and then the eye cream actually lasted me twice because I don't like to put a ton of eye cream and get the milia bumps around my eye. So but I do like it. I would say out of all of it I would purchase Potentially the cleanser and the eye cream. Next, I have two lip balms. The first is a my second tub of Carmex. And this is completely gone. And I do like the tubs, but right now I'm using the Carmex Moisture Plus stick, and I like that better. And then the other lip balm is the Vaseline Creme Brulee little one. I definitely like the little Vaseline lip balms. This one's very sweet because of it being Creme Brulee. But I remember getting Rose for my grandmother and she's tried it really likes it too. So. Next is a wallflower in frosted cranberry. 
is a very sweet, fruity scent. Is there is here. And I would repurchase when it's that time of year for it. Because right now I think I have Frosted Cupcake and the Wallflower at home. So, but I do like it. Next is this Symphony Beauty Snow Cream Moisturizer that you guys saw. Remember I said it had that funky texture, the little white cream. And I did like it, but in certain areas that I would put it, it would break out. So for that reason, I would not get this. But it did leave a nice, like, cooling feeling on your face, which I did like, so. Here. There we go. Next is the Crisp Cucumber and Melon Soap. I've had so many of these in my empties, it's not even funny. Because the Bioworks ones are expensive, so I go El Cheapo with it. And I do like it. I'm probably going to switch it out for either the Ivory one or a different one, but I do like it. Next is my Tarte Maracuja Oil sample. I did do a review on this, so if you guys want to know my full thoughts on it, you can check that out. But overall, I do really like this. It left my face feeling hydrated. It canceled redness out in my face. And I also liked how fast fast it sunk in to my skin. That, that makes any sense. So I definitely would purchase that even though it's like 50 bucks for the full size. And last but not least is this Vanilla Bean Noel candle from Bath & Body Works. This is literally my scent around Christmas time. So it's inevitable that I will purchase it. I still have a Triple Moisture Body Cream, or Ultimate Ultra Shea Cream from there in Vanilla Bean Noel, so I still have Vanilla Bean Noel for just a little bit longer. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this empties video. I know it was a long one, but hey, most of mine are. <laughs> Let me know down below if there's anything that you used up recently that you were a excited about to finish or sad about finishing and I will talk to you guys in another video another time. Bye guys.